Hi there, my name is Neetu Sidhu and I work at 4 and Half. And here are five Google AdWords best practices for your property management company. Now the first one is you want to have realistic expectations. A lot of people go in with the wrong mindset that Google AdWords is their number one marketing solution. And it's one of the it's one of one great way to get on the first page of Google and drive in some leads. But you want to make sure instead of thinking of getting 10 leads a week that you're going to get five quality leads a month with a healthy budget. Which leads me to the next point that you want to make sure you choose the right budget. A lot of clients we suggest to go no lower than $500 because the way Google AdWords works is they translate that $500 and they put it into a daily budget. So $500 a month equates to $16 a day and with our averages of usually seeing from our clients $3 per click you're working with five clicks a day and sometimes that can get exhausted after after or by noon usually or sometimes the next one is you want to view the keywords that people are searching on and the way to do this when you're on your Google AdWords uh, dashboard is to click on the keywords tab next click details and you'll see a title called un uh, search terms under that you will click all and you could view the search terms that people were searching when they clicked your ad. So you will get a good idea on if people were searching Tampa property management or Tampa homes for rent and this will get you a good gauge on your campaign. The next one is you want to have a dedicated landing page only for AdWords. This will help you decide on uh, the return on investment that you're getting off of AdWords and it's important to note that you want to make sure that landing page that landing page doesn't lead to other links on your website so people you may be missing out on leads you want to make sure that this is the only page that they could go on and that they're going to be signing up for more information and lastly you want to choose a phone line that puts your seller in direct contact is you gotta treat this as a priority because these people that click on your on your ads, they're pretty impatient. So if they're going to be put on hold for over 30 seconds, they're just going to close your ad and go to the next one. You want to make sure you put one of your top people on it to make sure you get the sale. So there you have it. Five Google AdWords best practices for your property management company. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them or anybody here at fourandhalf.com. Thank you.